Hi students, in the first video, we have learned the few concepts here like what is Dev C++ editor and how to install it and also we saw the few settings, simple settings inside of that editor and as well as how to write a simple program inside that editor and how to compile it and how to execute it, how to save it. So we saw all those options inside the our first video. Now let's move to the few topics to which I'm going to include in the second video. So what we are going to see in this one, we'll see few more options which are most frequently required while working with the programming languages inside of this Dev C++ editor. Like how to change the font size inside the editor and how do we change the option for the auto indent and how to insert the line numbers inside it and what is meant by code snippet and how to insert in the this editor okay we'll see all these options inside the this dev c++ editor fine let's go to open dev c++ editor fine see here i opened it simply writing simple program <clears throat> so just see here just you observe when i'm typing here when i'm writing here open brace itself you can find the corresponding close phrase is automatically coming okay and also when i press the enter key here so you can find a tab space tab space before this line this space at line number five okay so how automatically this space is coming how this open brace corresponding closed braces are coming and see whenever i select the open brace the corresponding closed brace is also highlighting okay you can minimize this the code which is inside the, this block and expand it okay fine and you can see observe a line numbers also automatically coming so how do we set all these options inside the this does c plus plus c okay now let us see one by one menu options here so in the file menu uh, if you see here i have the here recently opened files if you like to delete all these things just you click on the clear history so when you click on the clear history whatever the recent files you open that is deleted okay then see inside the, this insert uh, edit menu i have an option called insert snippet okay for example let us assume i am continuously using a for loop in my coding so here i have an option called for so you place the cursor wherever you like to insert the that corresponding code go to edit menu select here insert then go to here for. see the small simple code is automatically provided by the editor itself now you can write whatever statements you want to write here for example i would like to print the 10 times Welcome to C. So 
So like this, a predefined simple code can be obtained through the option called code snippet. Go to edit, insert snippet, and like for while, do while, switch, etc. You can find it here. Okay, like you just see for switch. See here, yeah, small code is available. <laughs> Next, <clears throat> so if you like to go to the particular line directly, go to the search menu here. I have an option called go to line, just to specify the line number to where you like to move. Just click on OK. So then the cursor will jump to that corresponding line here. Okay, that is the search go to line option next next inside of this tools and the compiler option so this is the default compiler whatever you install that it is showing no need to do any settings in here under the tools environment options See like here, recent file list length. How many files you like to show which you opened pre recently? Maximum it is giving as a 50. This you can increase and decrease the size here. The count. Okay. Then. See file associations. So, which kind of the files you like to open with this dev C++ editor? I would like to open the C program, .cpp extension files, .h files, .hxx, etc. So, these are the different types of the files you can open with the, this dev C++. Or if you like to include from this list, you can include by checking it this check mark. Otherwise, you can deselect the option. Okay. Fine. Next, under the tools, we have inside the editor option. See, the first option under the, this general tab I have here is auto indent. So, what is auto indent? Just I explain that when you press the enter key, once the line is completed, a few lines of the spaces few spaces you can find at the beginning of the line that we get as a auto and automatically according to the the spaces are adjusted to the programming statements here okay and i'm saying add indent to open brace and the close brace and colon so whenever there is a open brace and the close brace when we write it immediately you add a indent to it it is this is the option enabled here Next, when you press the tab key, how many spaces you want so that you can specify under this tab size. Next, under the fonts, you can specify the font name and the font sizes. You can modify it here. Okay, like this. Next, colors. You can change the colors of different options like when there is a comment, which foreground you like to show, which background you like to show, whether you like to display it in the bold, italic, etc. Okay, so like this, you can set the few settings here for the colors. See, under the fonts option, there is now one more option called here, line number. If you 
deselect it if you click on ok see the line numbers are disappeared from here ok click the line number go to editor options there forms under this reset to this line number okay so like this you can set the few settings these are the few important settings inside the dev c plus plus editor see while executing the program first you can compile So, there are any kind of errors you need to modify your, your code. Again, compile it. So, it's saying that incompatible print the statement because we haven't included the header file. So you know, successfully compile no address no warning or we'll click on the run option okay so it's printing welcome to c 10 times instead of that just you can go to the directly to the execute menu select the option here compile and run like this way also you can execute your c plus plus programs can execute both C and as well as C++ programs.